And welcome back once again. Last time, Elia had bitten off more than she could chew. But now, we've got to go around and figure out how we're going to find the next journal page. I wonder where it could possibly be. Yeah, there, there's not enough much to do in the mansion for a while. I think it's after this one that we get to do more in it. Yeah, now that the candles are lit up, it's the same as the puzzle in Elias' chapter. Of course, we now have more knowledge of how this thing might work, so we need to match it with the thi with the picture. It's a message tube. For those of you who don't see where this is going, uh... Yeah. Suspicions of conspiracy. Thy presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration within it, Augustus, above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow ebbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they will fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Charlemagne the Frank. His continued presence within the world is far more serious to our cause. As you wish, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. Ah, oh, we don't get to keep the message tube. Yes, that was Ulioth. Shaper of worlds, master of time and space, lord of magic. With Mantarok bound by Pius in the pre in the cutscenes before the previous chapter, and Pius serving him, he's the big bad of this one. He's going to try and come in and take over. But for now, all we can do is read and learn. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind a mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Punk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum. Deliver this to our lord and emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. There are words for his eyes only. At once. Bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then 
what will become of him. I have to warn him of this treachery. Here we are. I forget exactly what our name is at the moment, but... Anthony, right. After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs him that Charlemagne was last seen in audience with the bishop in the visiting chamber. Anthony is a bit too nosy for his own good, but... Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. At least unlike with Resident Evil, there's a reason for it to be called the bishop's key. It's a key belonging to the bishop. Nice monastery here. The monk cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if, indeed, this is the truth. Conspiracy indeed. A funeral casket made from unfinished wood. It is not properly sealed and could be probably be opened. Should Anthony open the casket? Just a moment, I've got a cell phone call. There we go. Anthony always likes to pry in things, so let's pry! Oh my god, what is oh, it? What happened? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Got a scramus axe. Best equip it. One thing to note about this. If you, like, pause and compare the runes, you can actually tell what spell was cast on him. If you know how the rune magic in this game works. It's a verb-noun system with augmentation power things. I forget what exactly it was. I think it was, like, summon self or summon something to that degree. But either way, it's not something you want to ever cast, ever. Yes, now we've got a sword. He knows how to use it, too. Probably use a shield, but I'd, you don't ever get a shield, ever. Statue of Pius that he himself destroyed. I just love the atmosphere in this room. Cradled in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the tome of eternal darkness? I, I never noticed the fa how detailed the faces on the floor were on the floor. Ah, ah, that's... Yes, 
he just got a The Story Thus Far. And we now have the Tome of Eternal Darkness, which its icon is not visible. You've seen better days, Anthony. Shiny objects everywhere. Mysterious gold medallion. Yeah, this is the magic system. We have actually augmented the Tome of Eternal Darkness. We have no spells right now. Can't make any spells. We have no runes. But now we have the potential. It's an Uliath vase. Sounded oddly jingly. Whoops. Well, it's got to use. Ah, yes, this. This is why I chose Uliath. This is the rune Chaturga. It is an alignment rune. It determines what ancient's power you will draw upon to cast a spell. <coughs> er, what? I think... Oh wait, I thought that was a door. Huh. Here's the door. Oh, no, wait, that was where the door was. I just... <laughs> Getting ahead of myself there. And so this is why the gamma is a problem. Ooh. It's a zombie. We need to finish this one to get on with it. I know that that one rune is Chaturga, but I don't remember what this one is exactly. I know what it leads to, but that's only a part of it. Ah. Hey. I've got to do something about the gamma at some point. This is like... Zelikath zombies. Sir. We've 
We've got a whole plethora of alternate weapons now. Where are the scram sacks shows up? Oops. We're gonna keep the scram sacks for now because it's kinda fast. There we go. This is this is much better. Ah, yes. However, I believe there's a third piece around. This game operates heavily on rule of three, as it were. That's much better. Torch. We can see. Oh, a magic codex. tells us what a rune is. What it means. Oops. Item. Magormor. It will allow us to... This must be enchant, then. Because I know where this chapter goes rather quickly. This is a Mantrox zone. They are brittle and frail. They burn. Now that we've got three runes, the alignment, Chaturga. Item for the noun. And this, which I, which I believe is enchanted. Now we can... I'm unsure how to get this to work. Ah, a sign is sign Chaturga. This will let us cast without having to come here and select it. Uh, enchanting items has twofold function. If we were to say enchant the scram sack. <laughs> Now it tells us about our magic meter. I'm going to equip this. Oh, yes. See? It even sheds light slightly. It's also slightly more powerful. This will cut zombies down to size easily. A red urn. Ah, and here's the codex. It tells us that was Chaturna. is just weird though. Yeah. These enchantments won't last forever, of course. Conspicuous tapestry here. Aged tapestry hangs on the wall, soiled from the dank atmosphere of the room and the corruption about it. 
know if it's soiled with defile with defiled horrors and I will get I will figure that out someday. Oh, wrong button. We just swing at it. Burn, you hellish fiends. Burn! Was that the bishop? He doesn't look well. Alright, that's just... Stone tablet. Okay, so it was actually protect object. Or projector. We'll see you in a moment. Enchant item. That's why I thought it was called enchant, because the spell is enchant item. That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull shall be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. But yes, we now have ourselves a puzzle here. Ugh. I can't help me. He sounds like Peter Parker. Oh yeah, I believe we've got to fill these too. Clearly this is a weight puzzle. Yes. But as it said, that which is broken shall be made whole. Not heavy enough. Yep, we need to fill them with water. At some points in the future, you may catch me spaz running like this. This is because that will refill my magic meter. That, and it looks silly. Whee! And we need all the levity we can get in this game. Distorted rendition of a monstrous devil. It is consorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is draining into this pool, trickling from the scum encrusted spout? Less dramatic people call it water. Stagnant water, largely, but. God, I had it right! Oh, it was just... Oh, there we go. And let's not knock them over. Return my book. 
very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful death. That's not good. This isn't the heresy, he attacked me first! I think I may have actually made a mistake equipping that. Er... There we go. Oh, we got the bishop's key. There we go. Poor Anthony. Shrine to a god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. Such heresy in such a sacred place. Charlemagne must be warned at once. That's another thing about this sword. You can't actually swing it well in tight corridors. No time for sanity, gotta save Charlemagne. Maybe a little sanity. I've got to show you. It's what they call a trapper. It's what they do. What's going on here? Trapper dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The portals cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. Here we can, however, do some regeneration. Come on, give me red. I know his sanity is low, but... Time has frozen, which is probably the reason we can't use magic, really, because... It takes time to cast spells. It's here. This sent us right back where we came from. Trappers die as a result of bursting, so...
This isn't really happening! Ooh, that, that was... Ah. I get it. That's... Anthony. Maybe, just maybe, he can save the Emperor. Ah. Time for you, zombies. Got to save Charlemagne. Must save the Emperor. I know there's a ladder here somewhere. Ah, crap. One of these. Got this. It's essentially our first boss. So glad I healed. Fortunately, the two handed sword has enough room to work here. I remember now, if we'd enchanted it with Juturga, it would actually weaken the sword versus the Ryoth's uh, minions. Now that's why we get that one first, because it's of no real help. Remember me, Alex. How can I forget you, Grandpa? You've always meant the most to me. Ever since... Ever since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed, you've been my little girl. Yes, my little girl. This isn't really happening! Well, that was unnecessarily creepy of your Grandpa. Out of my way! Preventing regicide! Nothing like you! trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. That was more than needlessly creepy. Yeah, monsters living inside people. One of them apparently decided to make that one priest jump to his death, I'd assume. Because when they put him in the coffin, he probably didn't have the huge chest hall. Well, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Eternal Darkness. Where I'll show you Alex finally gaining some benefits from all this... How has this affected her sanity?
Yeah, see, she's going a bit nuts from reading this book. So, later everyone!